ahead of the upcoming world, uh, Road City World Series, we have today with us one of the greatest fielders of all time, John T. Rhodes. Hi, John T. How are you uh, coming back to India? Al- you're almost half Indian since you're in India almost all the time. How do you feel playing back with the legends that you've played in your time? Well, I think the key, I mean, we're coming back to play not just to catch up with old friends because it, it is good to, to see them again. I obviously do spend a lot of time in India, but a lot of the guys are here for the cause. I mean, road safety awareness is something that we all feel strongly about. All of us now, most of us are family men. We have children and, and, and families at home, and, and we know how devastating something like road safety awareness or road safety, um, if there's an accident, what it can do to families. So for us, it's a really important cause to be a part of it. Great to see everybody, um, but nervous a few of us about running around the field for 20 overs, I must confess. Uh, what are you expecting from the whole series? How do you think the social message is going to go up? Well, I see the Indian team, are, man, the guys have got some real fire, firepower on their side. So uh, looking forward to, I'm looking forward to watching the other guys play. I must confess, I'm, some, some of my heroes, Tendulkar and Brian Lara in the team. So if they're playing against the other side, I hope they're scoring lots of runs so I can watch them and kind of relive those days. But it's, it's also a case of just making sure that, that the guys enjoy themselves and also play some good cricket because there certainly are some players here who've got reputations to look after and a few of them who've still been playing fairly recently. So I think a few of us who've been retired for a while, we're going to rely heavily on them. You're coming back after so long. Is there a bit of rust that needs to wear off? Can we expect a scream or a stun in the field? Well, there's a lot more than just a bit of rust to come off. I, I must say, I've been playing a few charity games in, in, in the last six months just to make sure I get some practice and some practice time in the match. So I, I'm hopefully, you know, I can still fly around. It's just the landing now that's the problem. So going for the ball, I've discovered there is no off button. I still, every time the ball goes past, things I can reach it. So it's a, it's a case of let's see what happens. But you never know. And that's a key. I mean, I never planned anything in the field when I was playing. I'm not planning to do anything. And if the ball comes, I'm hopefully going to be flying after it. Uh, we just saw Gibbs a few hours back. He just said that he was just close to you in terms of feeling when he was playing. What, what do you have to say about that? Well, there's going to be a bit of a tussle who's going to be fielding a backward point, but it's great to have Herschel in the team. I think we, we worked as a good unit at backward point and in the covers, and between the two of us, we certainly terrorized a few of the batsmen in our time. So great to be playing with Herschel again. He is such a character, and uh, you know he's really effervescent and very bubbly. But there might be a bit of a tussle when it comes to who's going to be fielding in the main hot spot. So, Herschel, watch it. Who do you think is the best fielder in the world right now? In the world right now, I mean, it's quite difficult because there's, there's all versions of the game. I mean, I've just seen an incredible catch Jadeja took in, in New Zealand in a test match. You know, so people say fielding is only important for limited overs cricket. It's not. You know, you, if you can change a game in, in a test as well. Uh, guys like Guptil, a great fielder, Ben Stokes. Um, you know, we've had Temba Bavuma, who's been in and out the South African team as a great fielder. But a lot of guys who do some great stuff. Glenn Maxwell, you know, I'm now coaching later on the IPL this year with Kings Eleven, and, and Maxi's going to be a part of that team. David Miller. So every team has a few stars who stand out. But, you know, I was always such a big favorite of Suresh Raina. I don't see enough of him anymore, sadly. But he's, he's such a great fielder. When you spoke of IPL, uh, how is the Kings Eleven squad faring out to be? And Suresh Raina, if you admire him so much, how do you think? I think Eleven has chances against CSK Open's like three-time, four-time winner. Yeah, I think working now with Kings Eleven, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm heading back to someone like Anil Kumble, who's now the head coach and, and, and heading that up. And he, one, one of the main reasons is that he gave me a call and I really respected the work that he did here at Mumbai Indians as, as a mentor um, when he worked with us for, for two seasons. So it'll be good to connect there. A lot of the players that I haven't worked with before, um, Kings Eleven, obviously we've played in, in Mahali a couple of times. And it'll be good to be based there. K.L. Rahul is an exciting player. And just good, you know, looking forward to seeing how the captaincy, what that brings out in him. And Chris Gale, I mean, he's, uh, he's such a, he is the boss. And it's going to be fantastic working with somebody like that. And just, you know, picking new brains. Because that's, as, a, as a player, you always continue to grow and learn. And I think as a coach, it's the same. You can get into a little bit of a rut, maybe, if you're working in the same environment. I had nine great seasons with MI. And uh, having had two years off where I've been focusing on more grassroots and development, young cricket players, it'll be exciting to get back into the IPL, I must confess. So, yeah, if uh, Suresh Raina comes to uh, Mahali Chandigarh, you just mustn't take any runs to backward point because I'm not going to be there, but maybe Maxwell will pounce. Jadeja's catch against New Zealand or Ben Stokes' World Cup catch? Very similar, but I suppose, you know, in a World Cup, 
uh, it, it's a bigger stage possibly and, and there's sort of one off it was against South Africa so I'm not happy about that so maybe that's why it was doubly um, you know a real rub, rubbing salt in the wounds but I think today just catch was superb Ben Stokes he was actually out of position uh, you know I think he came in and then went out but in a World Cup if you take one of those I think it's, it's pretty special South African women's team just missed out from the final it was so close yet so far what do you feel about that how hard was it yeah, very tough, you know, and I think especially five runs on, on a duck with Lewis, um, you know, chasing that is very difficult. And, uh, you know, every time you mention South Africa and the ICC World Cup, people start rolling their eyes and think, oh, no, not again. But the ladies had played superbly well. You know, if you think of the, the semi-final before that, not a single ball was bowled. India through to the final, having played some fantastic cricket. So, yeah, it, it's, it's fair that Australia, I suppose, got, got an opportunity to... South Africa topped the group. They played some great cricket. You know, I think they don't have... Uh, sort of one star they've got a, a great team that, that works really hard and I think they're growing and growing in confidence and hopefully in two or three years time we really will have some world beaters in the South African team so ladies who really perform superbly and five runs in a semi-final that is really tight so just unfortunately we were on the wrong side of the result. Do you have a favourite fielder or favourite player in the women's team like the entire squads that we've seen? Uh, sure I, I have to you know if I'm going to be quite um, rude now with the South African ladies and that Jem Jemima Rodriguez for me is, is kind of the complete cricketer, you know, no matter, I, I think she's got a better cover drive than Virat Kohli, so, you know, I love watching her in the game, she loves to be involved, she's quite a character um, on her social media as well, so she's, she's a real bundle of energy, so, you know, when, when she's on the field, something's going to happen, and when she's batting as well, she's a, he's a, she's a good player to watch. India is playing Australia in the final on Sunday. Do you have a message for the Indian fans, the Indian batting cricketers, and who are you rooting for? Well, you know, I think India are not going to go there as um, as underdogs, and they're certainly not going to go there as someone who's not going to get crowd support. It's going to be a really big Indian crowd. I mean, I know they're hoping to break a, a world record of the number of people watching this event, and it's a great opportunity not only to break a record, but to go there for the, the, the real reason, and that's to watch two great teams play against each other. So... You know, with regards to Australia or India, um, this, you know, I love the Australians, but this is my second home. So now that South Africa out, I definitely am rooting for India. Thank you so much, Shanti. It's been a pleasure. Hi, everyone. I am Ashwarya Kapoor. Thanks for checking out Republic World. If you would like to watch more show highlights and live coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the Republic World News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.